Hello out there in YouTube world. It's me, the Madman316, with another video here. And this, I'm gonna try to keep this short and sweet because I, because, and I know it's not gonna happen because it's gonna, I wanna start talking. So I might get kinda long. If it does, I apologize. Anyway, today, and I don't feel like bringing out my, um, webcam, my laptop, just to do this video, so, anyway, this, this video is gonna be, because, I, this video is gonna be about the whole Billy Jack Haynes, Vince McMahon situation, where apparently Billy Jack Haynes exposes what Vince McMahon has done, uh, with this whole mess with Benoit, and, and whatever, anyway, anyways, I saw a video made by, um, Stone Cold RKO 512, he made this video, I think, this morning, but since I didn't watch it until the afternoon, so I watched his video, which, by the way, is a good YouTuber. Watched his video, and I watched the actual. It was a 14-minute video Billy Jack Haynes made against Vince McMahon. It was it was a, it was somebody uploaded. It wasn't like Billy Jack Haynes uploaded to YouTube. So anyway, like I said, like I, like I was saying, um, he starts and Billy Jack Haynes just starts talking a bunch of. First of all, I'm not I'm not gonna. It's not a video defending Vince McMahon. So for all you people who say, Oh, you're just defending McMahon. He's sucking McMahon's dick. Blue, blue, blue. No, I'm not. I, so you guys, you probably will comment to it anyways. Oh, you're sucking McMahon's dick. Whatever. I don't care. No point is, this is a video for my opinion of what Billy Jack Haynes said. He said a lot of stuff. I'm going to summarize it in a second. Then I'll give my opinion at the end. But anyway, like I was saying, first... Billy Jack Haynes comes out and straight up says, one day, out of nowhere, Benoit tells him, Oh, do you think that Nancy is fucking McMahon? He said he used the word fucking. Yeah, I don't, so I'm not going to keep using the word. He said it like a million times in the video, by the way. It's like a 14-minute video and he used the word fucking like a million times. <laughs> it seemed like. Anyway, it, it, and then I'm like, okay, okay, whatever. I'll keep, I'll keep, I'll, I kept watching the video and he kept saying that, oh, well... McMahon, apparently McMahon somehow was sleeping with Nancy for at least seven years before that because Daniel, apparently according to Billy Jack Haynes, Daniel is um, Benoit's son. I mean, not Benoit's son, duh. It's McMahon's son, <laughs> excuse me. I'm like, what? McMahon's son? Really? I'm like, oh, that's interesting. Okay, let's let him, let him keep talking. He keeps talking and he says, and the only, because he says that Benoit loved Daniel. He always talked about was Daniel, 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 Daniel. I'm like, okay, I'm sure he loved his son. Okay, it's not, not any, anything new for me. Like, it's not like he hated his son, you know. So, it's not, any, not any new information there. Let's move on. He starts talking. The only way that Benoit could have killed Daniel was if he found that, 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 his, that Daniel's real father was from sick man. I'm like, okay. Okay, first of all, if I were in Benoit's shoes, I would not do that. I would not kill some little boy just because I'm not his father. I mean, if McMahon's his father, then I'm not going to kill the boy. It's not his fault. But I get pissed at, my, at Nancy? Sure, absolutely, 100%. I mean, every, every reason so. But would I kill Daniel because he's not my son? No, absolutely not. That's crazy talk. Even, let's say, anyway, I'm going to move on. I'm going to tell, I'm going to give my real opinion at the end. Then he's... And then another possibility he throws out there, he just throws it out there, that McMahon hired someone to kill Daniel and to kill Nancy. Well, I don't know, why, why would McMahon do that? It even, it, why would he do that? That makes no sense. I'm like, okay, well, how, people, it, it makes no sense, alright? Um, why are we, why are we taking this guy seriously? He has no, he presents no evidence at all. He just spews, spews this shit. And expects and expects people to believe him. But obviously, people believe him because anyway, I, I'll, I'll, I'll explain that later on. But he keeps talking, and then he starts talking about how it's just possibility that McMahon kills McMahon has him killed, and then Benoit, in a, in a fit of like depression, kills himself. Okay, look at so that's that's another thing he said, and he I don't remember. Oh, excuse me a second, damn thing. Okay, I don't remember any, and he said a lot of other shit, which didn't make much sense neither, but I, I'm going to provide a link to the video in the description, that way you guys, you can see it, and give me your opinion. Anyway, he said a bunch of other shit, 
about how Mc, how he hates McMahon and, and McMahon doesn't like him either, blah blah blah. So another thing he said that was pointless. Alright, so those are what basically this, my summary of his video. You guys can check it out. Link, I'm going to provide a link in the description. But, <clears throat> but I'm going to just move on. My opinion on this, I smell bullshit. Honestly. I smell bullshit. It's a bunch of bullshit. Excuse me a second. I'm thirsty. <sighs> smell bullshit. Reason, let me give some reasons why. One, he hates McMahon. It's obvious from the video. He loathes McMahon for some for for reasons unknown to us. He loathes him. McMahon doesn't like him either. So he that's one reason why I smell bullshit. Another reason is he provides no evidence. What tells one of you people? Why are you mark? It's another thing. I, I'm reading in the comments. People in that video they're marking out like, oh my God, McMahon. McMahon's a piece of shit. He's killing Benoit and, and his family, and, and, and he's killing WCW, ECW. He's gonna kill wrestling. He's somebody gonna, you know, they all people are all marking out for this. Like, oh my God, it's so true. McMahon is a killer. There's no evidence. What are you bunch of morons or something? Really? There's no fucking evidence. Oh my God. <laughs> That's another reason why. Another reason is. Obviously, Billy Jack Haynes is not, he's, 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 he has a screw loose or something. Because I can tell from the videos, the guy's like, yeah, Daniel, Daniel, Daniel. It's like, he's nuts, you know, that's another thing. Another thing, he's a conspiracy theorist. It's pretty obvious, because he's come up with at least two conspiracy theories on why Benoit did not kill, he couldn't have killed his family, even though he clearly killed his family. So he has to cover up for his friend. So he came up with conspiracy theories, which are ridiculous, because he provides no evidence. And then he, oh, another thing he said, I, mean, I forgot, he, he, he dared McMahon to take a DNA test and a lie detector test. Let me tell you something, Billy. Why would he do that? Even, let's, say, let's say everything you say is true. Why would he incriminate himself that way? That makes no sense. That makes no fucking sense. We would not incriminate himself that way. He wouldn't. That's retarded. Even if he did do all this, it's retarded. He would not do that. So, whatever, Billy Jack Haynes. Alrighty. Another thing. So, another, people, you need to stop marking out for this. This is bullshit. I smell it. I smell it from here to... I, I smelled it soon after I saw the video. It's like, oh, this is horse shit. He provides no evidence. Well, that's the key. He provides no evidence at all for any of this. For you, you Benoit defenders will probably defend them. Like, oh, no, because another conspiracy theory I heard that Kevin Sullivan, Nancy's, Nancy Benoit's ex-wife, ex-husband, excuse me, <laughs> killed, been, killed all the entire family and made it look like a murder-suicide. Another conspiracy theory made up by Benoit lovers who's defending one defendant no matter what he does. Like, oh, he's a great wrestler. We gotta forget about his personal life. Think about the wrestling. He's an awesome wrestler. First of all, I was never a Benoit fan. He's a good wrestler. Yeah. Okay wrestler. He's a good wrestler. But just because I'm not going to continue liking the guy because he killed his family. Stupid retards. You defend Benoit, you're all retards. I don't, I mean, I usually don't, don't like calling people out like that, but it's true. They're all a bunch of stupid retards. Goddamn tweet. I know. You're alone. Anyway, you're all a bunch of stupid retards. I mean, because no matter what, you're always defending Benoit. Oh my god, we gotta defend Benoit! You bunch of fucking wrestling marks, come on. He killed his family. And then Billy Jack Haynes come along, make some shit up. Like, oh my god, it's so true! McMahon did it, not Benoit! Benoit couldn't have done it, he's such an awesome wrestler! Oh my god, please! Yes, Billy Jack Haynes is awesome! For, for exposing McMahon, even though there's no evidence. Wow, I'm telling you, you people are retarded. Look, I'm not, I'm not trying to call anyone out in particular for this video. So if you guys are offended, I, I'm not going to apologize because it's all the truth. I'm not sure whether Stone Cold RKO believes this. I don't know. Maybe he can tell me in the comments section. I really don't know whether he believes any of this or not. But I'm going to try to remain respectful because... Because okay, right, I don't want to really start any drama. It's not a drama video. I'm just doing my opinion on 
the mess that Billy Jack Haynes caused with his bullshit. And what is bullshit? I don't want to hear about, uh, unless you guys, I want to hear what you guys think. Why, why is this true? Or why is it false? I mean, maybe you guys agree with me, I don't know. I'm, uh, but I'm a bit shocked about how somebody can make this shit up and just, without any evidence, it doesn't prove anything. It doesn't prove anything, no. It's nothing, not even a shred of proof. Like, he provides maybe some evidence. Like, well, I mean, I saw them kissing. I saw McMahon and Nancy kissing, or I saw something. Give me something. Don't, don't just view this shit and set me to believe it. Oh, one more thing, Billy Jack Haynes, before I go. Um, you said something to the effect, he said something to the effect that he, 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 was, he hated McMahon's schedule. Oh my god, the schedule is brutal. I go from Miami to Vancouver to New York to LA to Arizona to Seattle. Look, Billy Jack Haynes, this is easy. 20 years ago, you should have quit. You didn't like the schedule? Leave the WWF. What was so hard about that? And I remember this guy. I was like, where do I. This guy was in Mania 3. He was in the undercard. He faced, I remember correctly, it was King Kong Bundy versus Billy Jack Haynes in. Two midgets, four midgets, the sixth way, the six man tag match. I was like, oh, that's Billy Jack Haynes, of course, how can I forget this guy? He, I forgot him because he's so relevant. He was, it was in the, like in the second match of Mania 3 <laughs> that year. <laughs> oh, so that's Billy Jack Haynes for people who don't know who he is. Well, Billy Jack Haynes, you should have quit WWF, but he didn't like the schedule. For example, a lot of guys have been quitting the last few years. You have Brock Lesnar, Bobby Lashley, uh, Jericho left, um, The Rock left, the man was recent, it was the last 10 years, The Rock left. Um, now recently, CM Punk's leaving, um, there's other guys talking about leaving, I mean, you don't like the schedule, leave. You don't have to sign a contract. Anyway, back in the 80s, there were no contracts. You could have left whenever you felt like it. You could have left, hell, you could have left, so you like the schedule, oh, I'm out, I'm going back to... WCW or NWA, whatever the fuck it was in the 80s. Well, anyway, that's what you should have done. You should not whine and complain years later. Oh, I hated the schedule, McMahon. I hate McMahon. Blah, 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 blah. That's the, another main reason why I think he's, this is bullshit. He hates McMahon. Of course you're going to throw him under the bus and make this shit up. Look, one last thing before I leave. If he provides evidence, if there's any evidence at all that McMahon did this, I want to see it. It's like, it's not like I don't believe it at all. I want to believe him. It's the, there's no goddamn evidence. How the hell am I supposed to believe this guy? He's a nut job. Complete nut job. And then I want some evidence. I want something to look at. It's like, oh, okay, it's possible that McMahon could have done this. But nothing. Not a damn thing. He just spews this shit. And people and, and the Benoit defenders are marking out for this. Oh my god, he did it. McMahon did it. Benoit. See, I knew Benoit could have done it. You men, my other friends are pathetic. You are. You guys need to get a life. Stop defending Chris Benoit, who killed his family. Get a life, you losers. Don't defend this guy anymore. I'm sure you guys will defend him anyway. God damn it. Well, I guess that's it. I'm going to sign off. I already gave my opinion on this. Now I have to do other things right now. Until next time, for you Benoit defenders, all of you guys want to defend him, it's, first of all, you losers, you're outrageous, and you guys should get the fuck out of here. Really, stop defending him. Well, I guess I'm signing off for now. Peace.